You know, the saying, kindness makes the world go round, well, Leon Logothetis made that a reality. He traded in his desk job to chase his dreams. That meant traveling the world, living only on the generosity of strangers. He went to 40 places in nearly 20 countries in five months with no money, food, or places to stay. That journey is captured in his new book, The Kindness Diaries, One Man's Quest to Ignite Goodwill and Transform Lives around the world. Leon, welcome. Thanks for having me. You're working as a successful broker living in London. You gave it up. I did. Why? You know, I felt disconnected. I didn't feel any sense of purpose. I didn't want to work behind what I used to call a slab of wood. And I wanted to go out and see the world and be inspired by people. You keep, and, in, throughout the book, you say you were listening to your inner rebel. What is the inner rebel? The inner rebel is the part of you that wants to go out and live fully and uh, not live other people's lives and live your dream, your own dream. We all have our own dreams. Well, someone's dream could be to travel, but then to maybe spend some of the money <laughs> that they had working for the past three years. Why did you decide to do it and do it through the kindness of others? Like I said, as a kid, I felt disconnected and I felt disempowered and I wanted to empower people and I wanted to um, the magic of kindness is really what makes the world go round and so many times we see bad things happening but there's so much kindness out there there's so much good stuff so you walk up to somebody and say hi I'm Leon can I stay with you tonight sometimes sometimes <laughs> and the I, reaction I, is the reaction mostly is is no you yeah. can't but sometimes you find that angel and that angel wants to help Obviously, in the book, you set up a series of rules. You said you were not allowed to accept money, but surely there had to have been times when you thought money would really be the easiest solution here. Absolutely. But, you know, the rules were there, no money. It was just generosity. And it was a wave of generosity that got me across the world. Give us an example. What is an example of generosity? For example, um, I met this homeless man called Tony who had nothing. And uh, he decided, he let me stay the night on the sidewalk with him. And he was such a wonderful man. He, was, he inspired me to realize that true wealth is in our hearts, not in our wallets. Mm -hmm. What do you think you learned from this journey? You know, truthfully, I learned that that kindness is what makes the world go round. Mm -hmm. And we all have so many negative things happening, and we see the news, but it's really, there's so much kindness out there. But you also say, in the terms of the disconnected, because we all now, since we have mobile phones and computers, we think we're more and more connected, that the world is more flat. And you have a different view of that. You know, I, I definitely do. I actually don't have a smartphone. Um, I have like a, a 1998 really? Nokia, um, and it's because I loved the Nokia. <laughs> yeah, that was a great flip? phone. What? Is it a flip? No, no it's a little small, one. tiny like thing oh, like yeah. that. Yeah, I love that phone. Yeah, those are indestructible. And, 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 it, and it is, although I do have tape around it. Yeah. But basically, I feel like connection is what's going on here. You know, connection isn't about tweeting and Facebooking and all this kind of stuff. It's the human connection. It's the power of I see you and you see me. That's mm -hmm. what human connection is all about. It's true. Any favorite spots? You know, my favorite spot was Bhutan. They have gross national happiness where they determine the happiness of the country by how happy the people are. After seeing so much kindness, you made some pretty big promises, basically paying it forward. When did that idea, I mean, when did you realize, I want to do something for all these people who've done so much for me? You know, I'd done some adventures before where it was about receiving kindness, and this I made sure was about receiving and giving. For example, Tony, I was very fortunate to put him up in an apartment, send him back to school. This is the homeless yeah. man you met. So, you know, he's not homeless anymore. And, and to me, that, that feels wonderful for me and, and obviously for him. And uh, it's just a, it's a wonderful thing. You talk about the struggle with kindness in that sometimes when someone is truly kind, they shouldn't be writing a book. They shouldn't be telling people because they're not expecting something back. Did you struggle with the idea of a book? I did. And, you know, to begin with, I remember I read a book once and it said, a true act of kindness is when you don't tell anyone what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, here I am telling people what I'm doing. But... I just felt it was something that was so powerful and, and the stories I had and the people that I met were so inspiring that I wanted to share it. Really quickly, what's next? What's next? More adventures, more giving back. Well, you already hit 90 countries, so you're doing pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Leon Logo thesis, thank you so much. The Kindness Diaries is on sale now. You're watching CBS This Morning.